Hello guys, sorry for the point that I don't have a tripod. Um, I'm explaining today how my uh, tube tester works, the TD555. And we start with a Dutch tube, the PL82. And well, it's a used tube, but it's still good. I already know that. The point is, you plug it in. And because the chart is American, I use my tube book. I already have found the correct one. There we have it. The 16A5. We go to the book. 16A5. The filament is on E. Yes. The filament connection is on far. Yes. Six is not connected. Yes. Uh, two is the is the setting where you measure how good the tube is. Not yet. Uh, not used yet. 30 is how much, uh, how sensitive you need to have it, and between 4 and 5 is the filament. So we turn this to 30, and we put it on leak and on low. Why low? Because there's a star in front of it, and it says you have to proceed with the low position. What happens now, the tube is, uh, should be glowing and it tests the tube for leaks. If it is leaky, that light lights up. But also, if you check the filaments with it. So, no leaks. After this, you put this into coil and you put 2 into the P position. And that's it. That's how you test the tube with this tube tester. So simple. I will put that away. And now we're gonna do a ECC83 or 12AX7 for the Americans. This is also a used tube. See, there's it. There it is. Um, there we have it. Filament E. Filament connection 4, 9 not used, 2 and 7 for the test, and 35 on the sensitivity. Not used. Um, in my opinion, this, the top connection is grounded right now. You can also uh, place it in not used. But that makes no difference. This one has no star in front of it, so you go to high. You wait a little time. Oh, by the way, this filament in this tube goes from 4 to 9 to 5 it has a 12 volt winding that is why 9 is not used and this is on E if you want to test it with this uh, this on another place you have to go to D this to 0 uh, to the K and this to the F This way, you should have uh, done it correctly. 
But that is only for a double filament tube. Two checks with no, no flaws. Two. Ah, pretty used to. Well, that's it. And you can do other things by switching the buttons in other places. Well, guys. I hope you learn a little bit. But this tube checker, simple, it works. And, well, it continues to work as long as you keep the sockets clean. And maybe I have another tube that is good for testing. If it fits. Always connect this with a, when there is no power. That's an EL300. Let's find it. EC, EF, EL. No EL300. How oh, we're gonna do this? Well, that's really easy. You go to the interwebs and you find a picture like that. Um, this one is from the Radio Museum. It's really helpful. It's the 6FN5 or the 8GD. If you're gonna do this, take the booklet with you. As you can see, it's not on the list. There's the 6F. It's not on the list. The other one is also not on the list. So how we can do it right now? Well, we're gonna connect it anyway. Without the booklet. Sorry, my printer isn't that fast. There we go. Because every tube is tested with a lower uh, grid. So, if we want to test this tube, we have to put 2 and 7 on the filament. 9 is not used, so we're going to put it in N. Oh, we have uh, we have an eight pin uh, eight pin two. Yeah, and um, two and one are the same connection, so one is gonna be N. Three has the same connection as six. That's also gonna be N from not used. Four and five also have the same connection. It's gonna go also to not used. Well, I've set it to heat. 
and you can see it glowing up. Now I can check the connection on this far. No leak. No leak. Should be a leak. No leak. Why here was a leak? Because it's the other side of the filament wire. I believe if I'm going to check the quality, I have to use this one. And as I are, I'm correct. Uh, because you don't know their style, you never know how good the tube is. I always assume, if you see, um, I move it, it's really steep at one point. See? I assume it's a little bit above that. And after some point it just stops moving when you turn it. In either way, this tube is indicating it's good. As you see, I don't have a manual, so the only things I do, two of two, uh, two of the same connected, one is not connected. Yeah, it works. And also, for some tubes, it is. Uh, when they have an inner grid, that's also not connected. But uh, thank you for your. Well, how do you call it? Uh, thank you for watching. Attention! I was searching for attention. Huh. Goodbye.